Hi all, today we are going to discuss a new topic in unit 5, okay, mental health nursing, that is organic brain disorder. So when I am saying a brain disorder, that means if something is affecting our brain, okay, for so permanently, okay. Now what is organic mental disorder is like, it has a the, uh, the scientific changes in the behavior and psychological, okay, with a permanent brain dysfunction, okay. So, we are going to discuss about organic brain disorders category, okay. The first category is dementia in Alzheimer's disorder. So, what we should know what is dementia, what is Alzheimer's, okay. Uh, it's like a forgetfulness, fine. So, dementia is like it's an acute impairment of intellect, memory and personality without an impairment of consciousness. Without, we don't know that we really we have a memory loss, okay. What is Alzheimer's is like it's a type of dementia, where it is irreversible once the person is affected with alzheimer's the person will never ever come back to a normal life okay and it is progressive at a short the person will not be having memory loss okay slow by slow the person is having memory loss okay cognitive function like thinking ability will be decreased of the person memory power will be very low okay and personality will also get affected the person will be tipped off earlier after that he only don't know or he she only don't know like what watch is his tie the brand name also he will be forgetting okay now what are the causes before going to the causes it is mostly seen in elderly persons then middle age. Middle age is affected around 0.1 percentage but in elderly above age of 80 it is affected around 15 to 20 percentage. Okay. Etiology. Like we can say what are, what are the causes that can cause dementia is like if there is a significant loss of neurons. Okay. Or we can say like if there is a environmental infection of the brain due to any toxics, metal items and all. Or if there is a, a deficiency of vitamin 6, uh, vitamin B6 and vitamin B12, okay, and folate, if there is a deficiency of that or serious head injury, okay, uh, uh, then if the person is having increased less of less education than those who are uh, remain mentally active. If the person is like very much educative and later if sometimes if he is forgetting some of the points, the person will be very much nervous. Why did I forget that? How come I can forget it? He is very much, um, uh, what to say, genius. But at some times, he is getting forget. That is the first cause of uh, dementia. Okay. Then, if it is uh, irreversible, what will be the causes like? There will be degenerative disorders in the CNS. Like, it is affecting the brain. Okay. Alzheimer's, pig disorders, hunting's chorea, and Parkinson's disorder. Okay. Treatable and irreversible causes of dementia. If it is uh, dementia, but if it is treatable, what will be the causes? It can be like hepatic failure, okay, metabolic disorders, hepatic failure, endocrine disorder, the person is having Addison's disorder, any infections like AIDS, meningitis, encephalitis and all, okay, vitamin deficiency, example for thiamine and nicotine, okay, heart stroke, epilepsy, electric injury, the, if these disorders are accumulated with the patient, associated with the patient with organic disorder, we can treat the person, okay. But if the person is having Alzheimer's, it is irreversible. We cannot treat and get back the person to normal, okay. Now we are going to discuss about the stages of dementia, okay. The first stage of dementia, it will be leading from 2 to 4 years. That stage leads from 2 to 4 years, okay. First time the person will be having forgetfulness. Slow by slow, the person is getting forgetfulness. Okay, then the person is having decreased interest in social, social. Okay, loss of interest in the society. Okay, then hesitancy for initiating any action. If we say, "Come on, we'll have a drive," the person will be, "No, I can't. I don't want to drive." Okay, then at work also, the person is not able to perform good. Uh, and every time he will be like lazy. He don't know how to do. But he was very much good in that. Later, he is not able to do that work. Okay. That, that is the first stage of dementia. And that stage will be leading from 2 to 4 years. Second stage of dementia will be leading from 2 to 12 years. Okay. That time, the memory loss is increasing. Okay. Then, if somebody is asking, what happened to you? You were doing this. No. Why are you forgetting? You have some forgetfulness. Then, this person will get angry. How dare you say that I am having forgetfulness? I am not having forgetfulness. They will be very much hesitated. Okay. Then, 
difficulty in following simple instruction okay they are they know that i'm very genius but because of uh, the forgetfulness other people start guiding them you don't know that i'll teach you this they are not able to take it okay egoness will be there for the patient very much anxious what is happening to me that anxious level will be there because of the anxious the person will be angry as well as very much irritable okay and the person will be away from the society wandering they will be like oh, what happened to me what is that maybe that person is very much familiar with that thing for example driving the person is very much familiar with driving but sometimes he is driving he is not understanding what to do okay at the final stage of dementia okay what happens is like the person will be having extreme loss of weight okay because the person is not able to have proper food he will be thinking what happened to me what is this food name of the food also they will forget okay unable to communicate what is going through them they are not able to tell to someone else okay and sometimes they are not able to even recognize their family members uncle auntie and all they are not able to recognize okay then urine incontinence will be there for the patient loss of ability to stand properly and walk properly okay then they are all daily uh, activities like brushing taking bath they are wearing clothes pajama and all they like forgetting how to wear that i don't know how to drape a sari i don't know okay then death is usually uh, occurs if the person is affected with pneumonia okay so these are all the stages only three stages we discussed first stage is leading from 2 to 4 years okay second stage leading from 2 to 12 years and after that till the long, uh, lifetime of the person the person is having third stage of the thing okay where the person will be having loss of weight unable to communicate unable to recognize the family unable to recognize their own items okay incontinence of urine and feces loss of ability to stand and walk okay and death usually occurs because of pneumonia fine now we are going to discuss about the clinical manifestations of dementia for alzheimer's type okay first one is personality change the person is like day to day activities like brushing taking bath combing their hair doing makeup and all that thing they will be like withdrawing once in two days they will brush once in a week they'll take bath once in a while in a blue moon they'll comb their hair okay that interest will go from them okay recent memory is permanently affected not remote memory okay recent memory will be affected recent remote memory and recent memory means remote memory means memory in the childhood okay so the person is able to remember what and all he was doing in the childhood where the, where where did i go what did i do in my childhood there is able to remember but in recently if my he might have got married he might have children or she might have children they are not able to recognize their own family members partners and children okay then disoriented where am i Wh whose place is this is this my bed okay then decreased attention span they are not able to uh, focus on something to have now if somebody is giving some advices for them they are not able to sit and have that patience to listen it okay then they will be very much mood uh, distractible depressive because they are not understanding what is going around them okay seizure will be there for the patient headache will be there for the patient okay so this were all about the clinical features of dementia in alzheimer's disease okay now how are we going to diagnose this we'll do a history collection physical examination mental status examination for the patient okay mri will be done for the patient then we will be doing a lumbar puncture to analyze the csf fluid okay if in the CSF fluid, if there is an increase in beta amyloid deposit, that means the person is in the dementia Alzheimer stage. Okay. Now, about the treatment. What to do is like, the person is having hallucination, delusion and all. We'll give antipsychotic drug. Okay. Example, we can say haloperidol. Okay. Then, benzodiazepines will be given for the patient to reduce the insomnia and anxiety. Okay. Depression is there for the patient, so we'll be giving antidepressant. Seizure epilepsy is there for the patient, so we will be giving anticonvulsant. Okay, then well, uh, what we will do is like commonly common side effects of headache, blurred vision, insomnia, diarrhea. As per the signs and symptoms, we are going to give treatment for the patient. 
then we will be giving cognitive therapy, milieu therapy, group therapy, family therapy, individual therapy, okay, for the patient. So this was all about dementia in Alzheimer's disease. Okay, next we are going to discuss about vascular dementia. Vascular means blood. Okay, so vascular dementia is a condition where irreversible alteration of blood function, okay, damage or destruction or blood clot in the small vessels of the brain there is a blood clot in the small vessels of the brain okay usually it uh, causes because of advanced age or if there is an embol emboli or thrombosis moving clot okay emboli diabetic mellitus okay Hi hypertension ischemic attack so these all are the signs ca causes of vascular dementia signs and symptoms will be like same confusion will be there for the patient Wandering will be there for the patient. Slurred speech. Whatever they talk, we are not able to understand that much. Slurred speech will be there. Depressive. Dizziness will be there for the patient. Even though they are not able to count the money. If you give 1000 rupees in their hand, they are not able to count it. Okay, properly. Okay. Then, inappropriate emotional reactions such as laughing and crying. They will go in a funeral function and they will laugh. Because they don't know what to do there. Okay, then loss of bladder and bowel control like incontinence of urine and all will be there for the patient. This all are the signs and symptoms of vascular dementia. Okay, uh, for treatment what we can do is like we can give drug therapy as per the signs and symptoms and we can give aspirin for the patient. Okay, so this was all about vascular dementia. Next, organic disorder is delirium. Okay, delirium is an acute organic mental disorder where the person is having consciousness, okay, disorientation, disturbance in perception and restlessness. Okay, so what is the etiology is like? Etiology as per the uh, disorder, like as per the system wise, in vascular because of hypertension, hypertensive encephalopathy, atherosclerosis, intracranial hemorrhage can cause delirium encephalitis meningitis can cause de uh, delirium okay hematoma post-operative laceration vit vitamin deficiency example for thiamine diabetic coma stroke uremia hyperthyroidism hepatic failure this all can cause delirium okay detail will i'll be giving you a note okay in clinical manifestation, impairment of consciousness. The person is not able to think or know what to say. Consciousness, like if you are very much conscious, you are able to know that this person came and met you at this time. Okay, and he told this thing and all that. Memory thing will be there for the patient. But here the person will not be having that. Okay, here yeah, difficulty in shifting or focusing and sustaining an attention. The person's uh, focus... The person is looking at uh, a television movie to we, we are very much um, we, we will be having a difficulty to focus or difficulty to focus their mind or attention from that particular thing to different particular or, or point okay illusion will be there for the patient hallucination will be there especially visual hallucination will be there for the patient okay then disturbance in sleep wake cycle okay sometimes Nocturnal will be there, like bed, bed will be there for the patient. Hallucination will be there for the patient as soon as they awake from a sleep. And they will be thinking that they have a visual hallucination. Somebody is coming and talking in front of them. Okay. Now, treatment what we can give is like, we can give immediate correction of, if the person is having di diabetic, we will give hypoglycemic drug for the patient. Thiamine deficiency is there for the patient. So, we will be giving thiamine uh, supplements. Okay, benzodiazepam because sleep disturbances and anxiety is there for the patient. Depression is there, antidepressant will be given for the patient. Okay, so this was all about organic disorder. I hope you understood the topic. Okay, if any doubts is there, please clarify with me.